today we are going to start with exercise 15.3 what cross sections do you get when you give a vertical cut to the following solids and the horizontal cut okay so you can see a brick is there when you are cutting a brick vertically in this way you are cutting a brick you can take ice cream brick or any brick you can take it you are cutting this brick into half vertically so this shape will be there in this way you cut the pieces it will separate in these two pieces and this shape will be created which is this shape which shape is this that in the chat box i'm checking your chat box yes anupriya ananya right rectangular shape so in the vertical cut you will be writing rectangle right rectangle below vertical cut right rectangle here in front of a brick and when you are cutting in a horizontal way this way you are cutting it you are cutting this brick in horizontally so which shape is created children which shape yes again the rectangular shape is created so in this way you have cut it vertically then also rectangular shape is created and when you have cut it horizontally again the rectangular shape is created so you can write rectangle and horizontal cut also got it next is a round apple apple is in round shape so you can take the rectangle apple like this vertically i am cutting this apple i am putting my knife vertically on a apple so yes it is a circular way right swastik so you can write in a vertical cut you can write circle here in front of round apple okay and when you are cutting it horizontally right pulke tananya right answer when you cutting it horizontally again yes it is a circular shape so in a horizontal cut again you will be writing circle clear is it clear with you children vertical cut and horizontal cut yes it is a circular shape next is a dice when you are cutting a dice like this vertically so which shape is created yes square jessica pulkit swastik right answer so square is created when you are cutting a dice like this so in the vertical cut you can write square okay and when you are cutting it horizontally which shape is created again yes square again square it is created so in the vertical cut as well as in the square cut in front of dice write it down square okay yes nathik jessica right answer now we are taking the next circular pipe this is a circular pipe we are cutting it vertically so when you are cutting any circular pipe vertically the yes round shape is created that is a circular shape right swastik pulke tanupriya dhavanya right answer so in the vertical cut you will be writing circle okay in the vertical cut you will be writing circle and when you are cutting a circular pipe in a horizontal way this way so which shape is created here yes rectangle rectangle shape is created in a circular pipe because you are cutting it horizontally so this shape is created here so write it down rectangle in the horizontal cut write down rectangle clear children next is ice cream cone this is an ice cream cone we are cutting it vertically so which shape is created in an ice cream cone triangle yes which 2d figure this is a triangular shape which is created here so write down the answer in the vertical cut triangle we are cutting it vertically when you are cutting it vertically straight so this shape is created this is a triangular shape 
write down in the vertical cut triangle and you are when you are cutting it horizontally it's a circular shape write down circle you have to tell 2d shape only children write down this is a upper part then also it is a circle this if you are taking the cut as a lower part then also it will be a circular shape so write down the answer circle in a horizontal cut dear children is it clear with you 15.3 exercise children we are going to start with exercise 15.4 A bulb is kept burning just above the following solids. Name the shape of the shadows obtained in each case and attempt to give a rough sketch of the shadow. Now, this is an object, and we are keeping a bulb overhead. So, which shape it will be created? You can see which type of shape it will create. Your bulb is on this cricket ball. You play cricket ball, na? And the bulb is at the top of it. Yes. circular shape like this when this is a ball and we are putting a, a light of bulb on it and this shape of shadow will be created over here so you can write the shape of the shadow obtained from a ball is circle okay you have to think to which type of shadow will be created over here yes circular shape write down children the shape of the shadow obtained from the ball is circle the shape of the shadow you can if you want to draw this shape shadow you can draw it also okay the shape of the shadow obtained from the ball is circle clear jessica have you done next is cylindrical pipe this is a cylindrical pipe yeah, the light is on the head of a cylindrical pipe so which type of shadow will be created in swastik srajal right answer this type of shadow will be created that is a rectangular form when you are throwing a light on a cylindrical pipe this shadow will be created rectangle so you can write the shape of the shadow obtained from the cylindrical pipe is rectangle clear dhavanya is it clear with everyone so open your webcams also if it if it is clear with you the number of cameras are open i think it should is it it's clear with everybody The number of cameras which are on the off mode, I think they are not cleared with that. Ayana Shakir, I think this question is not clear with you. That's why your camera is closed. Yukesh Aditya Bhatia, Kanishka, your camera is closed. That means you have not understood this question. Which type of shadow is created? Ayana Shakir. I have removed you, Akmal Khan. Removed. Yogesh Kumar. Removed. Aditya Bhatia. Removed. The cameras are on the floor. Kindly open your camera soon. Next is a book. When you are throwing a light on a book, yes. Yes, swastik right and anya rectangular shape is formed. This type of rectangular shape is formed, so you can write the shape of the shadow obtained from the book is rectangle. In the next question, it is given there. Here are the shadows of some three D objects when seen under the lamp of an over. Overhead projector. Identify the solids that match each shadow. Okay, children. 
so if you see this circular now in this question shadow is given to you and you have to tell the object right swastik so this is a spherical shape you can see if any spherical shape will be there then the shadow will be in a circular way so you can write the sphere and in the sphere there can be any object like a cricket ball water bottle cap this you can write any object in this in the bracket examples of a sphere okay in the previous question what you have done objects has been given to you and you have to uh, tell the shadow yes right shrazal now in this question shadow is given to you and you have to tell the object okay the shadow is in circular form now you have told the object that it should be any spherical object it can be a cricket ball football basketball any ball water bottle cap this guy i have written two three examples you can write any other also okay next is a square you can see square is in a cubical form when the shadow is created if any cubical form that is called yes dice chalk box right pulke tanukriya you can write down the examples of a cube dice also chalk box also so these all are a shadow of a cube square is a shadow of any cubical shape rubrics cube also which you play it that rubrics cube also get the shadow of the same cubical form hai na so you can write down that example also rubrics cube next is a triangle so triangle can be in the form of a 3d shape what you call it, uh, the shadow of a triangular form so that is a cone right right anupriya cone can be anything birthday cap ice cream cone also pyramid also okay yes so you can write down the examples of cone birthday cap ice cream cone etc yes pyramid also you can write in the cone also this is a conical shape na when you are getting a shadow in a triangular form that will be a conical object next is a rectangle rectangle can be shadow of any cylindrical or any cuboid object you can write down the examples book keyboard mobile etc you always get a shadow in a rectangular form when you give a shadow of a mobile you will get in a rectangular form yes book also keyboard also mobile also these all are the objects which is in cuboid cuboid form so you always get a shadow in a rectangular form also you can write down the example kanishka write down this question kanishka sharma start doing it yes geometry box right yashika what are you typing next examine if the following are true statements the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle yes avika tell me the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle yes beta no anupriya nathik is saying no he cannot cast a shadow in the form of a rectangle yes but avika it can only cast in the form of a cube no you can the cube can cast a shadow of a rectangle how you know suppose you are if the ball is in overhead okay on the top of a cube then it will be form a shadow of a square if your uh, uh, bulb is on the left hand side okay your bulb is here on the left side and your object is here here you are keeping the object any cube okay you are keeping any object like this i am keeping a cube over here okay this is the object which i am keeping here and the bulb is here so which type of shadow will be created tell me 
if you are getting a light from this side left side yes rectangular form so you as you can cast a shadow in a shape of a rectangle of a cube if it is on the right hand side also then also this Mom, it is also because it has same faces vertex and corners yes but the shadow will be created but in a rectangular the form change. Yes. only the angle is changed then yes. it is possible to make a shadow in the form of cuboid rectangular form yes from rectangular yes okay when you are okay. as you have been told already in the science classes also that when you are getting any shadow if it is on the overhead your sun is at the overhead then you will get a short shadow and when it is on the left hand side evening time or on the morning time you'll get a long shadow why in the same way if you are keeping a bulb on the left hand side or on the right hand side on the sideways you always get a long shadow if a cube is kept so you'll get a long shadow it will become a rectangle clear yeah. so yes it is true that cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle can cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a hexagon also no because it is having only four corners so and hexagon is having six four corners so how can it be possible so the statement is obviously the false one it can be either a square or can be a rectangle yes right anupriya so if they are writing in the shape of a rectangle then why the statement is ha huh, second one is false that's right yes 